<laughs> Eddie returns from the interview with a thick pack of 100 rupee Indian notes tucked in his sarong. He smiles mischievously at his father. So who needs money? <laughs> Everybody cheers, you know, yeah. Uh, well, uh, the gauze season is winding down. Mm -hmm. Well, it's getting drier. Days hotter. Here come the bullock carts with barrels of water to drink, huh? Uh, spring and go. Hot. Not fun at all. Time to split. So Eddie hands off his uh, and Juna Beach house to David and Sherry because Sherry's pregnant with Michael. Uh, that's what they're going to name the person. And uh, they're staying through to the next winter during the summer monsoon in Goa, yeah. So, uh, since she's pregnant, she wants everybody out of the house uh, when Eddie leaves, and all his camp followers straggle after Eddie, as usual. She's clearing the decks for a pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, Eddie will be welcome when he returns from the Himalayas. Well, Joe Banana has a little quiet chat with Eddie. Uh, yo, look, Eddie, uh, are your people coming back next winter? Looks like it. You think I should buy a propane refrigerator? Make a grocery? Eddie? Yeah, why not? Well, oh. <sighs> Uh, next morning, I show up at the German bakery at dawn. I'm there when they open. That's when the native bread man on his bicycle with his little squeeze horn uh, wanders through the palm trees announcing he's uh, delivering bread, fresh bread, from the German bakery to the houses around a maze of sandy paths. Yeah. Young Hindu bakers and waiters, uh, they sleep in the restaurant just under their sarongs while uh, on the platform for, by the low tables and uh, they're yawning stretching and uh, waking up and you know since I've got my mirror out I really like this picture I took of the German bakery oh German bakery yeah that's it oh uh, Espresso machine warming up, freshly baked aromatic cakes. Breads emerge from the bakery oven. Waiter performs a Hindu puja to Shiva. <laughs> yeah, uh, incense. And uh, like I said, Goans are 70% Hindu, 30% Christian, and uh, the Hindus live mostly inland, and the uh, Christians live mainly along the coast. Well, my morning begins. <laughs> Frothy cappuccino. Yeah. Oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Fruit salad. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, here comes Charles. Uh, yeah, read the going newspapers. Times of India. Mm -hmm. hmm. Young hipsters enter uh, and uh, seriously isolate themselves behind their laptops. They got earbuds in, making no eye contact with anybody. And uh, how pathetic. I mean, compared to the early days, if anybody new came onto the beach scene in Goa, we were like so excited. Like, where did you come from? And how did you get here? And uh, you got stories? Uh, you know, uh, welcomed with curiosity, awe, spontaneous enthusiasm. Where'd that all go? And why? Well, that's why I'm investigating this scene. I got a great job. 
reporting on this story.